huge sheet of copper that was mined in Michigan. Yeah, that's really cool. So this is a huge meteorite that was found in Tucson. piece of aquamarine it's found in Brazil so here's some huge diamond pear-shaped earrings worn by Marie Antoinette and I guess one of them is bigger than the other one is 14 carats the other one is 20 carats I think the one on the left is bigger and then worn by the French Queen, Marie Antoinette, right there. These things are huge. So these are gifts from Napoleon to his wife for celebrate the birth of their first son. Are really rich in Colombia, yes. Colombia, South America, and so 172 the diamonds, 260 carats, them, sold them to Europe, saturated the them, crown, market, and then started selling them. Thousand to diamonds, India. 700 Indians carats. Indians wore that, and the next one you're going to see. Actually, quite a few. It's quite the gift. Um, a woman. This was a woman's. Um, over here. It's a huge emerald ring. I like rubies a lot. <laughs> 38 carats. But rubies are the same thing as sapphires, except some of these things are just a ruby crazy. Has an a of diamonds. It has chromium in it, like that topaz, mm -hmm. and this one has uh, the, the, it has uh, titanium. Rubies. Sapphires. Yeah. They told us maybe the second or third biggest and sapphire in the world. Timberly diamond. And it's set up in yellow, which just uh, accentuates how yellow it is. And that's... 55 that carats found in South Africa. So that emerald... 490 this, carats. These, these, were worn, <laughs> these were worn by the same woman. Okay. She wore that as you wrappers. Some more but diamonds. It is, I'm told, classic. And then this brooch, I guess, was actually worn as on a, a belt, like as a belt buckle. By this guy. Chain is classic party. And, um... It was made in the early 1900s. It's kind of our things are so big, you don't believe they're real. So, yeah. Uh, this is just a. There's some of these emeralds are just massive. Look at that thing. 858 uh, carats. Are, are fashionable today. And um, again, they're just too big. I'm not going to do that. Aquamarine. 1,000 carats. <laughs> I'll take it all. Why not? Oh, 
the red diamond there, that little small one. I guess that's super rare. It's only about 30 in the world. Some of these colored diamonds are just crazy. So the one on the left is an uncut diamond. And if it was cut, it probably looks similar to the one on the right. It's like a huge piece of quartz. It has iron in it. It's an amethyst. All these crazy things, all these colors. It's amazing. Well, look at that thing. I have this huge geode way down in there. This cool guy looks like a starfish. Another great big geode. So many cool looking things here. Top of the Washington Monument, they put a cap on it because when it was built, I guess it was the tallest building around. So they wanted to put something really special on top and they put a nine inch pyramid on top. This is a replica of what it looks like, but there is still actually a aluminum top on the Washington Monument. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not every day you see a real samurai suit of armor. So cool. They started putting it in the Then he died. Unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> they eat fish. They probably would. So look at this guy. This guy is a bird, I guess, still lives off Africa. He's huge. He's super tall. He's probably about, I don't know, probably about four feet tall. Look at his eyes. Look at that thing. Ugh, scary looking. So when he died, his family would have called the priests and they would have come over and the very first thing they would have done, they would have said a prayer, but then they would have shoved a stick up his nose and drained out all his gooey brains because mm -hmm. they had absolutely no respect for the brain. They thought it was just a soggy mess. But once they drained all the brain out, then they would cut the body open. Be very careful to leave the heart alone because the heart was where they believed the soul lived. They called it the ka. And so they'd leave the heart alone, but everything else had to go. Lungs out in one of those jars. Guts out in one of those jars. All the other internal organs out in those jars. And once you were all cleaned out, then you'd be packed full of a type of salt called natron and be left alone, basically, for 70 days. They'd come back and say, are you dry? And if you were dry, then they'd get some linen and they'd start wrapping you up. And when we see mummies in movies, they're always walking like this. But they were always wrapped like a burrito. They were never wrapped like this. <laughs> and so as they're wrapped, good luck charms are put in the wrappings. Okay. And I'll show you some of the good luck charms in another exists though, which is special, because when Napoleon sent his military into North Africa, those French soldiers wanted campfires. It was the desert. There wasn't any wood. So the local, they paid the local Egyptians to dig up mummies so they could burn the mummies as, as, a camp, as firewood. Uh, thousands of mummies got destroyed that way. Uh, these are some of the good luck charms that would have been wrapped up inside the, the, the linen. There are different uh, gods or religious symbols. That brown thing, though, is a, a bug. It's called a dung beetle or a scarab, and it makes a ball out of uh, poop. And then it lays eggs, and then life comes out of death. And it's a symbol of rebirth, symbol of, of uh, an afterlife for, for the Egyptians. This is a 3,000-year-old hairpiece. 
<laughs> so they wanted to look good in the afterlife. <laughs> Now, it wasn't only humans who were mummified, it was animals too. And if we turn the corner, you can see some animals. A crocodile named Sobek, and that's a baby crocodile that's mummified. Oh, really? Oh, wow. These are falcons. Horus was one of their main gods. I love how they put the Malcolm's falcon from the uh, movie there. Uh, cats were really important. Cats were the, a female god named Bastet was the cat. And uh, if you look in here, you can see that they've done a, a scan inside this mummy. And she's this cat is uh, mummified all stretched out. Um, I understand they had special cat farms, so they would have enough beautiful, appropriate cats for mummification. <laughs> and here's some more. This is a type of bird that still lives in, uh, in Egypt, the ibis, and a baboon, and a jackal. And they all are have roles. They're all personifications of gods. Was buried in it. We don't know where Tinkansu is though. She's not around, not to be found. But Tinkansu was not royalty. She was a wealthy Egyptian uh, three thousand years ago. And look how gorgeous the quality of that still is. Imagine three thousand years ago the lacquer, how shiny it would have been. Apparently, the nose is used to sort of intimidate and stun its prey. It doesn't uh, stab. It doesn't use them for sexual display. It's called a leatherback turtle, and when it was discovered by European sailors, they discovered that it could live for months without being fed or watered. So they took a bunch of them, put them in the bottom of their sailing ships, and just went tooling around the oceans. And when they got hungry, they'd take some of these out and eat them. So <laughs> luckily they didn't eat them to death. They still exist. Yeah. And it's a stellar sea cow is what it's called. The European sailors discovered it in the 1700s. And they discovered that A, it was defenseless, and B, it tasted good. <laughs> <laughs> and in about 100 years, it was extinct. This is the front leg. Look, look at the feet. Look, its toes come up like that. Jefferson liked woolly mammoths. And um, when Thomas Jefferson was Tommy Jefferson and living way out in the mountains of Virginia, somebody gave him part of a woolly mammoth jawbone that had some teeth on it. And he had no idea what it was. The person who gave it to him had no idea what it was. But he, Tommy Jefferson, was so entranced, he kept trying to figure it out. When Tommy Jefferson grew up and became President Jefferson, he... 
managed to enlarge the size of the United States. Um, we're going to turn the corner, and there's not going to be any more of these guys around. There's not going to be any big mammals. There's not going to be any humans. It's going to be all dinosaurs. Because these grew up after that asteroid smacked into the Earth and killed off all the dinosaurs. So Wankel is named that because this woman, Kathy Wankel, was camping in Montana with her husband. And they were looking for pretty rocks. And her husband said, come here, Kathy, I've got a pretty rock for you. And she said, you come here. I've got something and I don't know what it is. And what she had was that little uh, shoulder blade okay. sticking up out of the rock. Oh, crazy. And they tried to dig it up and they didn't have any tools. They couldn't. So they came back in a couple of months with some shovels and a great big orange beer cooler. and uh, he only ate grass and he uh, had see the armor sticking up out of his skin and then he squat nobody's going to get in and bite his belly because he's so squat to her and then his tail is a weapon his tail is this huge club that he could kill things with and this is what they say he would have looked like uh, if with some flesh on him he looks yeah. to me like a um, a horny toad mm -hmm. from Oklahoma. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's my nominee for the others. <laughs> His tail is really cool. His tail is not bones, it's but it's calcified stuff. Uh, it's not like literally a bone, but it's hard to With a fish oh, in no. its belly. Oh, it that's just crazy. Had lunch. So it's two fishes in one. It's two fossils in one. <laughs> Doesn't even look like a fish. It's scary. a stegosaurus uh -huh. uh, got its name because when they found it they thought those panels were sh like shingles on its back and so stegosaurus means roof lizard um, it just eats grass and uh, in this scenario it has knocked this meat-eating theropod down with its spiky tail oh, so okay. it's like that ankylosaur it has a weapon sharks, the megalodon was mostly cartilage and it didn't have bones in its body. Right. So they didn't fossilize. But he was a tooth factory. They would spring out in the back and they would go up to the front of the 
36 feet long when she was uh, accidentally caught. Uh, she is a three-year-old immature female giant squid. Gross. And she was put in preservatives almost immediately, but she's been shrinking and shrinking. Oh, really? Yeah. She was 36 feet to start with, and she doesn't fill up the case now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crazy. Dumbo. <laughs> I think you could call him Yoda too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he is an octopod, not an octopus. And uh, that is a mom of fiberglass. He lives two miles below the ocean. Two miles below? Be that big, yeah. Not much bigger than for things like this is a Lazarus because once they were dead. Lucy lived about three million years ago and she is important to us because she is a human-like critter that stood erect, walked erect. And she lived in trees most of the time. She definitely was not human, but she was human-like. Uh, her hips tilted so that she could stand up and her knees rotated so that she didn't crouch like a monkey in a cave. And um, they can, they didn't fix them all up like they did Lucy or the dinosaurs, but everything you see here is what they recover. And when they look at the bones, they know that he was an old man, old jeepers. He was about 45 years old. <laughs> and he had lived a, a long, hard life. He had arthritis. He had bad teeth. He had um, an incompletely healed wound in his side. So like maybe he'd been in a fight or he'd been gored or who knows what. They are at the height that scientists say they would have stood. So some of them were, yeah, so some of them are, they're all short compared to us. Um, some of them are really short. Uh, this is uh, how hard it would have been to have been an early humanoid. Uh, a baby was carried away by an eagle. Scientists can see the talon marks on the baby's head. Uh, here, somebody was eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> These bones show um, <coughs> an overdose of vitamin A. Maybe this person ate too much, like, bear liver or something, and got just too much vitamins. This is my favorite thing. Look at this, way over here, and then look in that way. Oh, yeah. Somebody bashed a hole in that ne Neanderthal's head, but somebody else helped him recover from it. And he lived, and he lived so long that his body, part of his body, withered from the brain injury mm -hmm. and part of his body stayed normal oh. and so he neanderthals not only had funerals they had health care of some kind 
and they had, uh, you know, a social safety net. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a big old hole. That is crazy. That is a big hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they say if you put modern clothes on him and he was walking down the street, he wouldn't look twice. I think he'd look twice, maybe three times. <laughs> So he was, he was solid. He was just as tall as they say he was, but he was very solid. This is, the, until Homo Longi, this was the most recent one. So I expect Homo Longi to be here very shortly. Mm -hmm. But this one was found about 20 years ago um, and was our newest, our previous newest one. Sometimes we would have really gone full-scale art to show. Look at this. At first, this just looks like a butterfly, maybe, or right. scrolls. But keep looking at it. It's a pride of lions. Mm -hmm. They're hunting. Look at them. Yeah, they're moving. This guy. So before, we all thought that was muscle. Ha! <laughs> He's magnificent, though. Mm -hmm. He looks like he just got a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Nice. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the little. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 